Oh, wow. It's in what scale? Oh, I'm getting one. I have no idea what city park I'm going to keep it in, but I'm getting one. Well, hello everybody, Max and Max's Models here, and I am back home and I have some time off to build models and make videos. While I was on the trip, I was not idle. I didn't get any content out, but I got about a quarter of the way through the book Boyd, and man, that guy did not have an easy life, but we'll talk more about that later. And of course, I continued to fight the Battle of the Bulge, which clearly I am losing. But I was not idle. I had some great email conversations with Tom Daniel and uh, a wonderful phone call with uh, a couple of phone calls with Mike Machat and got enough material for probably another couple episodes easily but we're going to talk about a lot of the stuff at the live stream but just as sort of a teaser here's a couple of things many of you guys are probably familiar with TD's uh, street vet model which was based on his real car well a friend of his actually made some beautiful models of the car but the one you see on the box art was not the only iteration because remember he was a stylist that thing changed over time so he had what they called the piranha version then the puma version and later on what he called the darth vader version and uh, all beautiful cars and we're going to talk about some of the models that uh, mr pistol made for him and uh, a few other things and he gave me a lot of technical data on the car so we can chat about it because i know a lot of you guys are model car builders and you're going to probably have a lot of interest in that well, when Mike and I were chatting and emailing, we covered a couple of other things. One of them is, just real quick, you know, to sort of paraphrase the old song from Sesame Street, one of these things is not like the other. You might say in this one, it's uh, one of these things is not like it ought to be. Can you spot the problem? Well, Timmy, what looks wrong with this model? And we're going to talk about that kind of stuff also. In addition, uh, speaking of kind of, well, let's call them weird models. I stumbled onto this uh, recent release by Fantastic Plastic, uh, Space Patrol Terra V or Terra 5. And I was like, do I know what that is or not? So I had to go look it up. And it got me wondering, how many times have you seen a model of something that you didn't know what it was, but it struck your interest? And so you went and educated yourself on it, which I'm doing on Space Patrol right now. Also, I happened to notice that the Box Art Den put out this beautiful uh, new uh, remastered box art of the HMS Bounty, and the reason that kind of struck me is I never built the model ship. I don't know if I ever even saw it, but I was actually on the deck of the replica HMS Bounty, the one that sadly sank, I think it was off North Carolina during a hurricane, so I sort of have an attachment to that. Also, something Mike and I really enjoyed talking about was old airports. You know, he trained out at Zons, and I think you guys know the story with the Aurora box top and Mike Machat and, and me, and uh, and if not, we'll talk about that at the live stream. We'll consider that a teaser. <laughs> and uh, some pictures of places that no longer exist and a few photos of things that you can't do, any, photos you can't get anymore because you can't fly there anymore. We're going to talk about all that and a lot more at the live stream Saturday night. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get permission from uh, Mrs. Max's models since we went without maybe to make this, uh, extend this one to a two and a half or three hour one if we got enough material to cover. But anyway, uh, that's just a few of the things that were on my mind and some of the research I got done and reading and busyness that I kept me going during this recent trip. But now I've got some time off at home. It's build, build, build. Keep those uh, Ukraine and Tom Daniel inspired pictures coming in or just any other builds you did. For viewers, build 34. I want to extend a special thanks to uh, TD for uh, all the information he sent me. I think there's some more on the way and all some great pictures. And also to Mike Machat for taking the time to chat with me and send me some photos and a lot of information. And they were both very patient with me while I try to keep all the facts straight. And, oh, by the way, I didn't build this. A glue trooper sent this in. It was just hilarious. And, yes, it's going in the next viewer's build. Even though you get to look at it now because I just think it's awesome. I really need to print that out and put it on the refrigerator as a reminder. I am always fighting the Battle of the Bulge. Well, that's all I got for now, guys. Uh, talk to you later. And, as always... Model on.